Where's Mama Sa? Si? Well, microbes got him. So I had it first. I'm pretty sure I got the bird flu that bounced off him. <coughs> Man, she got it. No immune system. I could broke my neck. I say it's best to get them and get it over with. I ain't worried about it because I can't get them. Once you have it, you won't get it. Oh, no, you can get no, it. No, that's a myth. I don't want it. You okay? All right. All right. May you never bark up your gumbo. This close for throwing up. All right, thank you. I'm leaving right now. All right, bye. All right. Oh! You idiot. Nothing. All right, I'll call Willie, you Willie, you're going to kill somebody talking on that stupid cell phone. All right, bye. Hey, you going to pay for this? Pay for what? Hey, the damage you done on my dumb bumper guard. So hey. there's no damage on the bumper guard. Look. You're going to pay for this. Hey, what Willie's doing is illegal, OK? It's probably going to run you $3,500. Haven't you ever heard of the law? You break it, you buy it? There's nothing hey. wrong with it. He's very lucky that I don't call the cops on him right now. Hey, let me borrow your phone. I'm going to call the police. Yeah, officer, he's male, he's hairy, definitely fat. Looks like a whiskey barrel. It ain't no telling what's done to that one. I don't care about that one. That's Jeff's truck. He's a crazy man. They ought to put him in a bumper car. Yeah, I hope. Good creep. Come on. Bottom line, you're going to pay for this. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are? No. You are? No. No? Side. Hey, family discount. All right. Hey, give me $1,000. We'll call it even. What is this, extortion? See, you got a bad attitude. Si, I got to go. Hey. Give me a bill for a buff job. Hey, it's going to cost you. I try to be nice. Yeah, whatever, Si. I got menthol angles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hey. I should have seen this one coming a mile away. Si, so get off that thing. I can't. I got back damage. About once a year, Si comes up with some stupid excuse to miss work. Back damage? Yeah. You got hey. brain damage, you idiot. No, hey, my athlete's foot's flaring up. I can't walk. I've got residual nerve damage in my back. Chicken pox. Can't work. It compressed two or three vertebrae back there. I got Stockholm syndrome. Doctor broke my neck. Hey. Hey. You ain't got no nerve damage, son. Hey, the doc said I did. Let me show you what it'll do. <coughs> nah, nah, hey, hey. Watch your feet. Pop a wheelie on that thing. The older you get, the harder it is to get excited about anything. Are you seriously telling me he's hurt? Look at him, he's popping wheelies. Oh, yeah. I just did the delivery, sir. All right, watch this, boys. But this scooter. I want one. Sir, can I get you to sign this? Up, up, and away, trigger! This thing is off the hook and the chain. Can you stop and sign this for me, please? Nah. It'll blow your socks off, your pants off, cufflinks, whatever you're wearing, it's coming off. All right, let's roll. Back to work. Man, he's going to need a helmet with that. Ah, uh, how summer? I came in here to tell you we... Hey, Willie, Jay. That's Si in the bathroom. He's stuck. I need a little help here. Perfect. Leave him in there all day. Hey, is that by death? This thing stuck. There's nothing wrong with you. Hey, I'm fixing to be free flowing. All right, I'll get him out of there. You're coming with me. Come on, big boy. I'm going to tell Miss K on both of y'all. What are you doing? I'm going in. Well, I can see this little situation isn't going away quietly. Hey, ready to come back? No. Yep. I got yep and no. Which one of them? No. Yep. I can't believe that Sai would actually pee his pants. Good grief. Rather than admit that he's making something up. This place is a death trap. This is over the top, even for Sai. Sai, we all know you're faking. I'm what? You're faking. Hey, no. Look, these guys don't have respect for their elders. It's not handy for handicapped people. It's like they don't realize that, hey, they're going to get old one day. Si, this is my bathroom. It's not the handicapped bathroom. That one's down the hall. Guess what happened then, big boy? You've got the best toilet paper with it. The other stuff is like sandpaper. That is true. No one's going to be helping you with your scooter in the commode, either. Si. Hey, I got to clear my head, OK? He wants to play hardball? Get the pizza junk. Oh, I'll play hardball with you. I don't ever back down. No, nope. well, he ain't got a clue. 
knucklehead. You definitely don't understand nothing about being old and everything you got is going south. Okay. Willie hadn't got a clue what an old man goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. He put me in this thing. It's hot. My eyes is melted. I've got all sort of ailments he doesn't even consider. I'm hungry. I'm tired. My back's killing me. My hemorrhoids are flaring up. I'm getting old. Okay. I'm fed up with getting no respect from anybody. The only thing would make this worse if a rain cloud got right over the top of me and just poured down the rain. It's like they think I'm in their way all the time. Hey, that thing's got a steer wheel. Go around. Act like they ain't never seen a man on a scooter before. Yeah, go on around me, you idiot. <laughs> hey, Granny. Go around, you idiot. Get your butt back over to work. What? I really don't know why, but... Si, this is dangerous. Hey, everything's cool. Si, is this about your bumper? About the $600 scratch on it? No. Why would I be upset about something like that? If it's about your bumper, I'll buy you a new bumper. Do what? I didn't hear that. Let's go. This is stupid. Go. All right. Si, stop. <laughs> Where's he going? Hey, negotiations are my thing, man. Plus, two days running on this. You've only added a day. Two days running on my scooter. Fine. Plus, hey, son up. I've got Willie right where I want him. Hey, plus I'm starving to death. Lunch. No. Plus lunch. Sorry, you pushing it. Did I hear you right? Lunch? Perseverance gets you anything you put your mind to. I'll buy the bumper, rent the scooter, and God will buy you lunch. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey, success is sweet, boys. Right, you got it. Hey, I thought you couldn't <laughs> walk. It's a miracle. Hey, drive this thing careful. Up, up, and away, trigger! <laughs> Working with family is the blessing. Oh, hey, you gonna pay for this? Nobody around here gets bent out of shape. He's very lucky that I don't call the cops on him right now. If you're hungry, go get you something to eat. I'm starving to death. Lunch. If you're sleepy, go in there and take you a nap. I'm pooped, so I'm gonna take a nap. As long as you do your job, I won't ever say nothing to you. charge! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you gonna pick him up? No, life's too short. He wants to play hardball? Get the pizza junk. Oh, I'll play hardball with him. I don't ever back down. There's gonna be bumps in, in, the, in the road of life. I'm hungry, I'm tired, my back's killing me, my hemorrhoids are flaring up, I'm getting old. There's gonna be potholes. Yeah, go on around me, idiot. If you're nagging, I'm fixing to leave. Hey, I skipped from the old home. Don't worry about it. Change attitude, get a positive attitude on life, and let's go on. I'll buy the bumper, rent the scooter, and God will buy you lunch. Ha ha! Hey, success is sweet, boys. What's up, fellas? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. You like my new hat? No. He put the hat on in the first place. He ventured out into public. And last, and probably the most grievous, is he had the audacity to walk in the duck call room. What did you think was gonna happen? I mean, it's like you wanna be Indiana Jones, but you're a nerd. That would be Delaware Jones. Why Delaware? Because Delaware's a nerdy state. Makes no sense. There ain't nothing but nerds there. Hmm. They all wear the big, thick rim glasses, okay? So far, you're describing yourself, no. so. I'm gonna go to the bathroom here. Take the hat off. Make you happy. The bathroom's where that thing belongs. You may want to take it with you. It's very funny. Look, you need a hat like that. I do? Yeah. yeah. Good grief. He's then got you know a big... What? You don't look as idiotic. I don't know why these guys are jumping on Jep so bad about that hat. I think it actually looks pretty good on him for a little girl's hat. They always call him the baby sister of the family anyway. Take a picture and send it to Jeff. There you go. What does he look like? Give me that. Seriously. What was Jeff thinking when he got dressed this morning? You know, what could I put on my head today that would terrify man and beast? You look like Gilligan if he had on a brown hat no, instead of a white hat. The senior citizen years of Gilligan. What are you talking about? Here you go. Put it on, big man. Oh, hey. When did Hogwarts start offering adult classes? You, you look, look like one of those Quakers. Y'all want Jackson? The Undertaker. That's not him. Got your pictures. Very funny. Hey, you like that? What do you mean? Yeah. Good ha, jokes. Ha, ha. Good jokes. What's funny is, I think the joke's on y'all. What? What are you talking about? Jessica just told me my whole family's got lice. What? 
Like my kids uh, have lice. And then I just had this hat we on. We all had that hat on. I ain't worried about it because I can't get them. I had them. Oh, no, you can get no, them. No, that's a myth. No. Yeah. Ain't no myth to it. It ain't I chicken can't pox. Get them. Huh? I've had them. Look, we have two options. We can shave from head to toe. That's option one. Option two, I know a lice expert. I think they got confused over this desert up here. Uh-huh. When you have beards and as much hair as my family does, it's not a matter of if you're going to get lice. It's when. OK. Don't put it on my face. Earl ordered on my face. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Whoa! The upside to this is there's no person on the planet more qualified to kill lice than my mom. Oh, oh. this close for throwing up. Look at the chunk. There we it's go. Cold. Oh. <laughs> the smell is the only downside to Kay's home remedies. And it's a big downside. Now we have right, to go with it. the beards. You gotta put it oh, in the beard, no. boys. Be gentle. Yep, I can hear them screaming, boys. Here comes their baby. Oh, my. Mm, now you wish you didn't have oh, a, a no. beer, don't you? Don't throw up. If you throw up, it's going to be a chain right. reaction. Here's the best news, boys. We only have to do this three times. Mm. Do what? Si. Now, what? come on, baby. I'm serious. I've got to help no, you. No, no. I do not help them. Now I'm coming hey, after you. Hey, no. Stay back. I ain't infected. How do you feel, sir? They got me in this suit like a caged animal, drinking tea through a small straw. But it's a small price to pay not to smell like you've been pulled through a toilet backwards. Look. Does that thing come out of this no. monkey suit? No. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's up with that? Where'd you find the hat there, fat boy? I found it outside. Did you not check your phone? That hat you got is infected. You, you got, got lice, lice, bro. Lice? <laughs> God. God. You got the lice, bro. I just had lice. Hey, sir. What's going on? How you feeling? Pretty rough. You coming to get your sick? <sighs> You're making me gag, sir. Yeah. Hey. So where were you this morning? Look what you missed. I'm pretty sure I got the bird flu from carrying all these dead ducks. The bird flu? Hey, right. Bird flu. Bird flu probably is the only thing Si has not had. <coughs> I have had the dragon pot, the Andromeda strain, the black breath. Have you seen the dude smile lately? Talk about gingivitis and black breath. And that's dumb. Scurvy, rickets, gluten tolerance, mad cow disease. Ah, space dementia. Which is kind of strange, because I've never been in space. Antivirus, shantivirus. You feel like the walls are closing in on you. Phantom limb syndrome. Hey, look here, hypoallergenic. And of course, sausage fingers. These things swole up like balloons. Who could figure that? <sighs> Where's Christine? Oh, she went to visit some friends. Si, you shouldn't be home alone. Oh, I'm OK. I'm like that young kid that was at home alone. Macaulay Coke, and I'll be all right. He's a grown man, Kay. He can make it by himself. As long as the burglar don't try to break in, OK? Yeah. You might ought to stay here, then, since you're no, sick. No, I, I don't worry about it. Nah, he don't need to stay. I might have to rig up some paint buckets or something for him. Phil, he needs to stay nah, here. Nah, he needs to hit the road, as they say in the South. <laughs> mm. There are a few things on planet Earth that you just can't develop an immunity to. I don't want to impose. Hey. No, you're not imposing. Psychrobes. <laughs> Uh, or some of those things. Sal, <coughs> si, you're staying. OK, if you twist my arm. Well, ain't nobody twisting nobody's arm around here. Right. I'm going to go get my bag. Your bag? Yeah, I got a few things in I like when I'm sick. Mm. <coughs> oh, dear. Psychrobes. I ain't never seen a thermometer like that. Oh, well, that's actually Bubba and JJ's. What? That's a dog thermometer? Well, it hadn't been in their rear end. It's been in their mouth. Well, I don't want that nasty thing. Good grief. I'm well, sick enough without, you know, getting doggy breath. You've got a fever of 99. Woo! Better call the ambulance. I'm going to go get you a cold compress for your face. <laughs> <coughs> hey, you want to watch a movie? I got some movies in my bag here. What kind of movies? Well, I got Air Bud. Air what? Air Bud. Look, it's about a dog, okay, that plays basketball. Air Bud is a dog? Yeah. 
And these are classics. I want to see that. They're all great. I watch old Born. Come on, that ain't realistic. Not At realistic. Least is realistic. If it's born, it's realistic. No. Yeah. I hope I never get bird flu. All right. You don't want this crap. Todd, what are you doing? Hey, my throat hurts. Me and Kay worked it out. Here's your homemade soup. Uh, thank you. Does that make you feel better? It's delicious. Thank you. All right, well, you ring if you need me, OK? Family is one of the most important things in life, and the Robertsons always look out for one another. What do you need? Miss Kay, I'm overrun with tissues, plus these are hurting my nose. It just pains me to see one of our own feeling ill. That's why I always volunteer to nurse them back to health. Cough drop, Miss Kay, soup, foot massage, hand sanitizer. Is this ain't working? ding a ling a ling a ling Next paper rug, bird flu, oh. airborne scores. What is it, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. I got to, I had to bail my hand. Plus, with me, you get service with a Miss Kay smile. Give me that. Yeah, but how am I going to call you? Pick it up. I was wondering when that was going to happen. <coughs> Micro, you got the bird flu, too. Oh. But hey, put in an Air Bud 7, and hey, it'll chase all them vibes away. I love that dog. Here you go, Walrus. <laughs> Mouth open, dude. What are you doing in here anyway? I'm killing some time. I gotta take John Luke and Sadie to the dentist. Ooh. You know, I never like leaving this bunch of slappies unsupervised during a work day. Get all doped up, looped up. Oh, they're going under? Oh, yeah. Are you go under for wisdom teeth? Ooh. But as a parent, the needs of your children must come first. That stuff like a true serum. I'm gonna ask a bunch of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Can't lie on it. It's important to be there as a responsible adult. What are you doing? I'm thinking I'd get some grill work myself. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there's no way I was going to miss my kids going under. Lil Willie. Call him Lil Willie. Yeah. They're probably going to act like total idiots. Cool. If you don't watch out, you're going to be up here at the dentist. All right, well, today's the big day for you. You're going to have the best nap of your life, and you'll wake up, and everything will be fixed just perfect, OK? <laughs> okay. Sadie, you know this is also a true serum, so I'm going to be asking you questions. <laughs> it's not often that you get to give your kids true serum and not go to jail. Sadie, have you ever kissed a boy in our house? Dad. <laughs> so I plan on taking full advantage of this opportunity. Sadie, about kissing the boy. Willie. Oh, is that referring to the kissing of the boyfriend, or is that? Uh, Sadie? Sadie? She gone. Or maybe I'll check her cell phone while she's still in La La Land. She sailed away on a bright <gasps> summer day. You all right? You feel OK? Yeah, I'm fine. There's something about Dennis that's always just creeped me out. Man, you're really torquing hard there, ain't you, Doc? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Oh. You gotta go sit down. I'm fine. Will you OK? Yeah. Fine. No, I can handle it. Hey, buddy. You can wake up now. How you feel? Hey, <laughs> what? Honestly, I was a little nervous about our kids going under anesthesia for the dental work. You feel OK? No matter. No matter. Never matter. <laughs> but Sadie's surgery went well. She's feeling great. Mm. What happened to you? Mm. Willie, I'm not really sure how he's doing. Uh, I like you. <laughs> but we paid a lot of money for this. I'm going to enjoy it. I <sighs> my eagle powers. You have eagle powers? Sure. There's a lot of reasons not to do drugs, kids. You about ready to go home? But saying things like, hungry fella. <laughs> <laughs> To your own mom? It's for funsies. Has got to be near the top of the list. Bumblebee Swing your legs to this side. Huh? Bumblebee Tina. Bumblebee Tina. All right, yeah. Bumblebee. Well, kids' teeth have been yanked, drilled, and stitched. <laughs> I just got to take Mr. Bumblebee Tina home and then tuck Mr. Bumblebee Tina into bed so he can have sweet dreams of. Bumblebee Tina? We'll get some tuna, son. We'll get Bumblebee some tuna. Bumblebee Tina. So, kids, who is your favorite parent? Chief Viva. <laughs>
I think I need to take John Luke to the dentist more often. Y'all hungry? Mm-hmm. Hungry fella. I ain't seen him this talkative since, um... Mm, like a glove? Well, never. More than the chips. Kid doesn't talk much. Well, you don't feel like it. You don't know, kick off your shoes and throw them on the floor. What? Oh, oh, wrong number. I'm sorry. And to go along with his new personality, he's also sporting a pretty nice pair of crazy eyes. You better call him, okay, and tell her we're on our way. We're going to Kay's? Yeah, she said she was going to make a special concoction for the kids. Concoction? Sounds delicious. Mama Kay's going to come take care of you. Well, is it down the field? You can say. Angels, look at them. They're so precious. I'm so happy my babies decided to come over to Mama so I can take care of them. You should have seen it, Kay. It was disgusting. Blood flying everywhere. And he nearly fainted. Shocker. And I can take care of John Luke and Sadie, too. 